Badger football. We're two and one. We're playing Purdue this weekend. First uh, conference, even, you know, conference yeah. is the Big Ten, as we kind of have known it until next year. Um, we're playing Purdue. Any thoughts as far as what you've seen so far going into actual conference games? Uh, the Badgers are a weird team. And uh, honestly, it's hard to tell what to make of them. A lot of their underlying numbers are actually pretty good. Like when they run the ball, they're pretty effective at it. Um, it's just they don't, they seem really incoherent so far. And maybe that is just growing pains and new mm. personnel and new offensive system and new coaching staff. Um, but they'll like come out for one drive and they'll run it down the opposing team's throats. And then they'll come out and they'll throw all these bizarre short passes that they're not really equipped to do properly. And so it, it's it's, I don't like watching them so far. They've been really disjointed okay. football-wise. Uh, but I do think they're actually kind of good. I'm worried about their defense because they have given up too many points to, frankly, non, um, non-competitive non uh, opponents. And that makes me a little more worried than anything. Mm-hmm. But I do think they'll score once they actually kind of settle on an offensive philosophy. And I think they'll be okay against Purdue, who's you know certainly not a jug, not a bad team, but not a juggernaut at all. Um, this will be a good test, though. Like if they get blown out in this game, I think everybody can start to worry officially about them. Um, I, but I'm cautiously optimistic they're going to look okay. Is it as a layman's person, as I would say, claim myself to be? T- T- Tanner Man- Mordecai seems like he's a really good arm. I mean, uh, it seems like it, you, no, <laughs> no. Is that he's... just uh, a, a, a bad take? He, it's not a bad take. I think he's he has an okay arm. Um, it's he, he's like a middling college um, arm strength okay. quarterback. He's okay. Um, I, I just I wish he had a little more polish on his deep ball. And he has this weird. This is this is way too in the weeds. But he has this weird tick on his short passes where when he releases the ball, the nose is facing down, and it's a common college quarterback and sometimes NFL quarterback problem that you're not gripping the ball properly. It's a detail thing, and it makes your your passes tend to sail low and your receivers have to bend over and pick them up. He does it a lot. It, it, a it's a footwork cut. problem. It's a mechanics problem. Um, wow. and, yeah. When he, when, when he can like set his feet and throw down the field a little bit more, he's a little bit better, but um, they've, they've asked him to throw a lot of quick uh, kind of touch passes like that. And uh, he gets himself in a mess on him a lot. So um, he, he's been okay. There's room for improvement there, but I, I think his arms like pretty medium. Well, now I shouldn't have asked that question. I should have asked. Well, I could, it's fine. I asked that question because yeah. what I wanted to talk about, I at least have enough time for it. We only have two minutes left. Give us your quick takes on Coach Prime, Deion Sanders, because this this story of Colorado and what he's doing with the, the Boulder, Colorado team and the hype around it, his coaching style, the sound clips that are coming out is fascinating to me. I agree with that. It's, uh, it's unprecedented in certainly college football. I would say... Yeah. It's a little bit like Kentucky and college basketball and John Calipari, where the whole okay. selling point is come here. We'll, we will put you on your best footing to get you to the next level or to be a celebrity right now. And uh, Deion Sanders is like perfect for it. He, you know, he knows his football inside and out. He's a huge personality and always has been a huge personality. And he has both family and friends to recruit from. Like he has two kids on the team, one of which is the quarterback who has been absolutely outstanding so far. And it is just a weird thing to walk into a college, uh, a college setting, you know, not professionals and basically tell everybody who's coming back in Colorado was awful last year. They were one in 11, one of the Mm -hmm. worst teams in college football. Like, Hey, uh, you can stick around if you want, but I'm bringing in all new players. And so none of you are going to play, which is essentially what he did. He did scorched earth. Yeah. Scorched earth. Rebuilt it from scratch. Nobody thought it would work. It has worked fabulously so far. He has allowed a lot of leeway towards his players. And uh, yeah, he's he's it's an example that people are going to follow going forward. Absolutely. And it's fun to watch. All right, Paul Noonan, you'll be back with the rest of the team. I will not be here, but check out Milwaukee's Tailgate podcast reporting as eligible. Always fun to talk to you, Paul. Have a great day. Thanks. Go enjoy the Brewers. Good luck.